Um, the few seconds we would have gained there would have put us really tight to it, at least. Yeah. If it wasn't to beat it, we would have been within a couple seconds, I think. Is there Provided the elevator would have worked. <laughs> yeah, that's always the final ball. Um, like, should I move the traps closer or further? Or Dude, just... I really don't know. That seemed perfect. It It really seemed like the logs went through her. But we know from watching that other video that her hitbox is active, like, immediately. Yeah. So, I don't know if it was just bad luck. Maybe it didn't strike the torso and it just looked close because it hit her gangly limbs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe her actual, like, her box is just the inner body. Yeah. <sighs> I really don't know if it needs to be. And that felt like about the right spot. I mean, when she stood up, she did hit one that fell like kind of prematurely, but the rest didn't. So that feels like maybe it's like right on the edge of the right spot, you know? Yeah. Because it was only the one, you know, it may, it may have even been one that was just placed slightly more forward. Mm. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Um. Yeah, I don't know. So we'll just have to hope for good luck here. I feel like as everything else has about the run has gotten faster and more consistent, Megan has gotten worse somehow. Yeah, I know. We... I feel like we've not really changed anything about that fight. Yeah, on nights where it works out with her, it's like, it works so well I don't even question our strategies. But then on nights when this, where it's just a choke point. Ugh. a weird angle, but I got damageless sinkhole. You know, this has nothing to do with anything else, but I think it would be kind of funny is if we um, get really into playing, I mean, the raft might work for this, but um, the game that most readily comes to mind would be playing Satisfactory and then get into it for a little while and have a world going and then convince Brian to play Satisfactory with us. <laughs> but in but what we have done is created the most nonsense factory like almost uh let's game it out style <laughs> and just see if Brian could could stand could stand it <laughs> yeah Dude, the easiest way to do that is to uh load up factorio and do and basically the same thing decimate it yeah and then get him and his brother on one night to be like hey can you guys like critique our work? I'm pretty proud of this <laughs> <laughs> oh man so I, I miss playing with that guy and i just feel like that would be a good way to bring <laughs> to bring him back in <laughs> dude i know it's just create a nightmare and be like dude 
you know, we were giving it a shot so that we could catch up to you and your brother. Yeah. <laughs> Just show him a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, they've both been uh, super into Elden Ring, but they're on PS5. Uh, and their available playtime is, like, way off from mine. Like, I don't get online until they've gone to bed for a few hours, so... Uh, except for like he keeps wanting me to pick maybe. it up on PS4 to play with him, and I'm like, I mean, I'd pick it up, but honestly, I just I, the odds of us being online at the same time are real low right now. His brother is like a early morning guy. Apparently, he's like often in bed by eight time. Their time too. I don't think they're in a different time zone. He's just. He does not stay up late at all. <laughs> Man, I really wish Elden Ring had crossplay. Yeah. It's not even cross play across consoles. I thought that it was. Like I guess maybe, or maybe I just assumed that it was. But no, um, no because I thought PS4 um, could play with PS5. PS4 and PS5 can play together, but they can't play with Xbox. Oh, I guess that would be cross generational. <laughs> <then>. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a separate yeah, Love because um, Justin and I, I was going to Justin was telling me about stuff and I told him like where I was at and everything. And um, I told him about this BS dragon that I was fighting, but like I guess I got it too far away from what was considered its zone, so it despawned and respawned back in this like lava lake. It kept its health, but it completely reset the dynamic of the fight because it was like two to three shots to kill it with like my sword yeah. at that point. Yeah, completely destroyed the flow of the fight, and then I lost. Oh, I was like, all right, dude. I was like, come on, let's take this thing out. Like, I don't even feel bad. Like, because I kind of like going through and getting my solo runs. I mean, I use ashes or whatever. And some people online say that's they're not really playing the game. But I'm like, you know, dude, whatever. Yeah. The, the ashes are in the game. I'm going to use them. But yeah, the developers <laughs> put these things in the game. Like, if you want to like try hard, like play the hardest way possible, good on you. But I can't stand when I see people getting all judgy over that sort of thing. Yeah, because people used magic or used the sword of night and flame or whatever, which yeah. has been nerfed, and like use the ashes or use the NPC summon. Like, dude, these are all fine features that were included. It's like, whatever. But anyway, I was like, <laughs> all right, Justin, let's go take out this guy. And then he put down his summon sign. I set up a password. I used my fertile calling finger or whatever. And we were like, dude, I don't know. Just try to put it down over here instead. And then finally, one of us looked after like 10 or 15 minutes and we're like, oh, snap. It not You can't play PlayStation to Xbox. So we just both assumed. Uh, <laughs> we just assumed that like PC was out of the loop. Like yeah. it is in some games. But I never nope. even considered that because I never think about the Souls games being on Xbox at all. I <laughs> forget that they are. <laughs> Yeah, it feels like such a PlayStation series because, I guess because Demon Souls and Bloodborne, right? It just it just makes it feel yeah. like the whole series is. Yeah, Sony. I guess Dark Souls one, two, and three are like on every. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, Dark Souls one's even on Switch. But... All right, got the boy. Um. Yeah, that's flame. But I don't think Bandai has ever made an effort. Uh, cross platform. I mean, what all else does Bandai make? They make a lot of games that, like, a lot of their library of stuff that sells better in Japan or is not on an Xbox console at all, right? Because they've got like the Tales games, yeah, the the Warriors Code games, probably the closest thing to Souls. Uh, so Code like, Vein and like their Monster Hunter rip-off series uh god eater but um if bandai if bandai namco is the publisher would it be more on them to set up the cross play cross platform play or to be more on FromSoft? I think they host this they host the servers right hey I, I, 
think so, maybe. Because I don't know. I don't know the, the strict details and all of that. I'm basing that off of when um, Atlas dropped Demon Souls server. Some <laughs> other company picked them up <clears throat> and launched their own version of it, and it had <clears throat> nothing to do with FromSoft. Oh, okay. So, yeah, if, if that's the case, then it would be on them, but... Really, really, what I was getting at is so many of Bandai Namco's games are either on Sony consoles or are just more popular in Japan that yeah. maybe they just don't even consider. But it's like they almost forget about the the Xbox portion because the Xbox <laughs> has sold what like ten consoles in Japan ever or something. <laughs> like they they just don't play that thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like yeah. whatever. <laughs> What we're not selling, we're not. Who cares? <laughs> like these yeah. aren't these aren't numbers right here. That I'm looking at. <laughs> it's yeah. It's literally <laughs> not cost effective for. Them. Yeah. Like, I guess their biggest thing, and possibly their biggest game that would benefit from it, is like Tekken, right? Aside from Elden Ring, because it's been such a smash success. Oh but, yeah, uh, yeah. Even for yeah. like the, even for the Soulsborne genre, it's been such a smash. Um, yeah, it was like 12 million copies or something yeah, in the month. Yeah. That's crazy. And um, like Tekken is their next biggest thing that would probably be a game where cross-platform play would really aid it because, I mean, yeah, there. I mean, there's an arcade and a story mode, but I mean, people are playing it for PvP primarily. Yeah. And that just keeps the player base higher when there's more players. Man, speaking of Code Vein, I kind of forgot about that game. I've never played it, but I do love that character creator. Dude, <laughs> the character creator is insane. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it, I feel like I get this pretty cheap on Steam every now and then. If you ever get a copy, we should, like, <gasps> co up that game and make some abominations. All right, it worked this time. Oh, nice, dude. Finally, a run past the A ball. run. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the hole. Oh, you went so fast, my game just dropped all the frames trying to find you. <laughs> like, nice. You were a blur coming through there. It, it felt good. <laughs> Whew, all right, the pressure is on now. Yeah. For the rest of this. <laughs> oh no. Come on, elevator, be kind. <sighs> yeah, Code Maiden's fun. It just. I feel like if it were a simpler game, it would have gone better. Died, yeah. son of a bitch. Was that well, you? Okay, I'm going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm the one that went backwards. Um, oh my God, if we don't get, if we don't get bricked first by the swim, then there might still be a chance because you need to. It works out best when you hit the elevator button first, you know. Yeah. So, as long as the, as long as we make it through this, there's still a chance. Yeah, I feel like Code Vein has a bunch of like background uh, systems and mechanics to it that don't really amount to much and just kind of clutter. <laughs> if it were yeah. as simple as like Dark Souls, I think it would have gone a lot better. But I played like 15 hours or so of it and really enjoyed it. Me and Daniel co-opt a bunch of it for fun. 
how is the co-op system? Is it like, is it, is it like, a, does it have a simple system where you can just get together and play or does it have a souls type system that requires items and after you beat a boss, then it messes up or not messes up, but it sends somebody home and you have to summon again and all yeah, that. It's basically the, the soul system. Like you have to like go into each other's worlds to fight the bosses, but it's real easy to find each other. Like, I think it has a password. System. Uh, it's like with the souls games, the way that it works is like part of me. It's like, I kind of like it from like the world standpoint, but from the practicality standpoint standpoint to like load in and play with a buddy. It's kind of annoying. Yeah. Okay, got, it, got it, got it, it, got it, got it. Okay. All right. I, oh. I see you. Through. I'm out. I'm stuck in the door. I'm through. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> God, there's a cat in the way of my monitor. Please don't step on the keyboard. <laughs> Just hang out. He's he can, he's welcome to stand here and rub on the computer case because I can see. Just please don't step on the keyboard. I don't know. It's it's so close. I don't know. I have fourteen fifty one point seven three. I have fourteen fifty one as well. Fourteen fifty one is what we're competing with to be the fastest two person team, right? <laughs> We'd probably just have to retime it. Oh my god! Like to Oof. link it up to the frames when we when you start moving and then the cutscene trigger. Oh my god. So close.